everybody, I'm Clockwork Heart, or Nikki from J2NA Games, and this is my gastric sleeve surgery channel journey thing on YouTube. I am alive. If you follow me on Instagram or anything, you probably know that. I just don't have a lot of time for YouTube right now, as I keep saying, and keep promising that I will do more and then I don't. So, I'm very sorry about that. I, I'm going to stop promising that. I'll just make videos when I have time to make videos, so... If you want more regular updates, you can follow my Instagram. When the thing loaded after the intro, it was over here? Maybe over here? I don't fucking know. It was somewhere around here. Um, it is Clockwork Heart, same way it's spelled on YouTube. Um, I don't post a lot, but I do post more than I post on YouTube. So if you really want to keep up with me, you can do it there. But I will still try to make videos occasionally. I don't want to give up entirely. I'm just still very pressed for time right now. I apologize. Anyway, let's get into this. Got my notes. Good to go. Um, this is an update for week 14, 15, and 16. Week 14 was my three month post-op anniversary. Um, and that week, I lost four pounds, according to this. I don't know what I went from to, from to what, because I didn't write that down. Uh, week 15, according to this, I had no change. And week 16 is the week that just passed. Um, I didn't actually weigh myself on the day uh, of my surge anniversary, you know, the, the day of the week I normally weigh myself because um, it was one of those days where I didn't get enough sleep. And you know if you don't get enough sleep, your body doesn't really reset, so your weight's not accurate. So today was actually the day I re weighed myself for week 16. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I was down to 199.1. I'm very excited to finally be under 200 pounds because the scale just refused to budge from like 205 to go down. It, it just stubbornly hovered in the 200s for like three weeks and it was very frustrating because I've been working my butt off, been exercising way more. Um, so it finally, finally, finally under 200. 199.1. So yay! Congratulations me! Um, I'm gonna buy something nice. But, um... I need notes. Um, week four, 14, I think I lost so much because it was after my period. My body had a weird lingering phase where it was just like, you know what, we're gonna go period, no period, no period, period, period. And then finally it went off period fully and that's when I dropped four pounds. Um, so thankfully got its shit together. Uh, week 15, I, I got my shit together. And this is where I started uh, adding in a lot more exercise, actually intensely riding my exercise bike and adding in some arm exercises to work on my wings. Um, so I think that might have been why there was no change because I, I added in so much intense exercise at once. I was either not getting enough calories to counteract all the exercise I was doing or my body was building muscle or something like that. Um, so it wasn't super alarming. Um, in week 16, this week, um, I don't know how many pounds I went down, but I think it was two or three. Um, so that's good, and you know, I contribute that to the fact that I am keeping up with my exercising and um, working out because I don't think just eating lower calories and smaller portions is cutting it at this point. Um, I've lost 70 pounds total uh, from my highest weight. I don't have the numbers from surgery. I'll put it here. Thank you, future Nikki. Editing Nikki. Put it right there. Good job. Um, so yeah, but 70 pounds total is great. Fi to finally be under 200 is amazing. I haven't been under 200 since high school that I know of. I, mean, I didn't really weigh myself a lot since like 11th grade, so I couldn't tell you exactly. But um, so yeah, it feels really good to finally be under 200. Um, but um, went off notes. Um, so like I said, week 14 was my three month post-op visit and that was lame. Um, they don't have a nutritionist again. They, they just keep not having a nutritionist, which is okay. I mean, no nutritionist is still better than the lady I saw last time. She was really, really incompetent. 
Like, she's probably a good nutritionist, but she didn't know what she was doing with bariatric stuff, so it's not really fair to call her incompetent. She just didn't really know what to tell me. Um, they were also very busy. They were running an hour and 45 minutes late, I think, or maybe it was just 45 minutes, but whatever the case, they were very, very busy. Essentially, the doctor came in, he was like, hey, how's it going? You exercising a lot? And I was like, no, and he was like, okay, do that, and I was like, all right, and I left. So, I mean, there's not much to say, I guess. They're like, you're losing weight? Cool. Good job. Have any questions? Well, you don't? Alright, bye. Um, so, it is what it is. Um, work is still short-staffed, which is why I am still short on time. Um, the vet is still looking for a replacement technician so that I can go back to working just Saturdays. Um, but we need someone well-equipped to handle the job and nobody well-equipped is applying so that leaves me still holding down the fort doing my best um but it's also spooktober over on our gaming channel j2na games j2na games um and that adds a heavy amount of editing to my plate i am almost done caught up completely on my editing so but i'll have a few weeks off from editing before we roll into november and i'll have to start again but for Spooktober, we release videos, uh, some Halloween or horror themed videos every single day. So it's a little more than we usually put out. Um, so that's why it's, and it's not series we've been working on long term. It's series just for the month of October. So that's why it's a little extra added onto my plate. And then, of course, Five Nights at Freddy's sister location had to come out of nowhere. I mean, we knew it was coming out in the fall, so we should have known it would be October. Um, but just like all the other ones it came out with no real and that release date just boom here I am so we had to kind of drop everything and record that and edit that and get it up and so that added a whole new slew of gotta get this done don't have time for anything else um, but I, like I said I'm mostly done with that and we'll be back to my normal amount of work between work and J2N games soon um, which I'm getting good at balancing finally now I just have to be able to balance this back in. I'll get there. Just take some adjusting, especially when you haven't worked for like three years and you're suddenly thrown back into full time um, for a short term basis and it doesn't turn out to be short term. But you know what? I appreciate it because we need the money around Halloween and the holidays. So I am very thankful this opportunity came up. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just the month of October, while it is my absolute favorite month, I don't know if you can tell by looking around, um, it's also the most stressful, one of the most stressful months. Um, we're having a Halloween party and it's a big deal, we've got like 20 people coming, which may not seem like a lot to some of you, but I don't know a lot of people, so 20 people is like, holy shit. Um, so that's stress, I have costumes to make, John's costume is going to be amazing, but a pain in the ass, like it's going to take me like two weeks to make it and I haven't even started yet. and. Uh, I'm recording this video on the 16th and the Halloween party is on the 29th, so I got 13 days. Mm. But um, I can do it. And so, and then, you know, extra stuff on the J2NA channel, more stress. Everything's just stress, 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 stress this month. Uh, you know, I think it's. I don't know that it's affecting my weight loss, but it is definitely affecting the amount of sleep I'm getting and the amount of. Well, no, that's not true. I'm not letting it affect the amount of exercise I'm getting. I'm forcing myself to make time for my exercise because I don't want to have weeks like week 15 where I had absolutely no change and I couldn't figure out why or where I get stuck for like two weeks at fluctuating in the same area. Sorry, I understand that that's gonna happen, but if I can, you know, do things to prevent it that I know I should be doing, then I need to work on that force myself to be better about exercising. So that's what I'm doing. Um, not letting the stress affect my exercising. And it doesn't really affect my eating either, thankfully. When I'm stressed, I don't eat usually, so it's really just affecting the amount of sleep I get. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I don't have my Garmin thing on. I have skull bracelets instead. But I did finally get it to start registering intensity minutes. I guess previously I just was not being intense enough. Ugh, intense. Um, because if I actually intensely ride my exercise bike, it does register them. It registers them weird. I'm not really sure. Like, 20 minutes of exercise bike sometimes ends up being like 33 intensity minutes. But I think it all has to do with how high your heart rate goes. Because if it's 
moderate intensity, it only counts one minute at a time. But if you're doing high intensity, so like my heart rate's super up, then it counts it, I think, as double that. So it's two minutes of intensity. Um, so I think, you know, I usually do intense, super intense, intense, you know, like I kind of up and down on the bike a little bit. So that's probably what it is. Um, but I'm glad that it's doing that for me. It's helpful to actually see, you know, your, what you're doing on a device. Um, I'm still like wondering how much grapefruit has to do with metabolism boosting and stuff. Um, because again, what I, I haven't been regularly eating my grapefruit and I feel like my weight loss has kind of slowed down a little bit. So I did get more grapefruit. So we'll see if it picks back up. But, hey, if I want to think that, I'll go ahead and think that. Um, but my measurements are down quite a bit. I actually took them, these are from week 15. Um, so not this week where I'm down to 199.1, but, oh my god, I can say one in front of the numbers. That is kind of amazing. I, uh, yeah. Anyway, yes, I can now say one in front of my numbers. But yes, the measurements are from uh, week 15, where I think I was 202, I think. Yeah, I think it was 202.3. Um, but, and I will insert a turnaround at the end of this, like I usually do, but I'll go ahead and I'll put the measurements there. But, just for your reference, week 11, I had my bust. Oh, I, I, I'm so thorough. So week 11 I was 212 and my bust was 44, my waist was 45, and my hips were 52. Week 15 I was 202, my bust was 42 inches, my waist was 41.5 inches, and my hips were 50. So that's 2 inches on the bust, 2 inches on the hips, and 3 and a half inches on the waist. So that's just, in 10 pounds, that's crazy. Like, that's super exciting. Um, and just, hang on, let me see if I can, let me see if I can sexy leg at you. These, ah, nope, gonna tip over my chair. Um, here, have an Instagram picture so I don't tip over my chair. Uh, this is the outfit I'm wearing right now. Those leggings that I'm wearing are Nightmare Before Christmas Sally leggings, and they are a Hot Topic ML, so medium to large. Now, they do run big. I knew that when I bought them, and which is why I bought them, because I was like, hopefully they run big enough. Um, and they do. But that's still like a really good feeling to be like, these are a Hot Topic medium large legging. Now, mind you, when I take them off, they are like, I could stretch them across the room. These things are for a tall ass person, which is why they work on me being short and wide. The tallness gives them more stretch. Um, but the tallness doesn't have anything to do with the waistband, and the waistband fits, so it's just very rewarding. I have some skeleton leggings as well that are for my other Halloween costume that are the same size, and fingers crossed that those run large and fit me as well. it will be very satisfying. Um, I have a dress coming from Hot Topic that's in an extra large I'm hoping will fit. Um, I have a 2X shirt from Hot Topic that is too big for me. It's a junior's 2X, whatever that means, but it's too big. I have to take it in. <coughs> what I'm getting at is Hot Topic's measurements are kind of wrong. You should go in the store and try things on before you buy it if you can. not But it's really nice to be wearing much smaller things now um, and to be able to fit into things. Like, I bought these leggings with a very, very, very faint hope in my heart that they would work because I'm being Sally for... for Halloween party's one costume, Halloween night's another. So Halloween night I'm being Sally, and I really wanted these night or these Sally leggings. They have stitching, you saw in the picture. Um, and I, but it was just the tiniest glimmer of hope. Like maybe, just maybe I'll be able to lose enough by Halloween night that I can wear them. But we're two weeks off and I can wear them now, and that's amazing to me. So it's a really good feeling. Today is a great day. So anyway, back to my notes. What do we have? Um, that's actually where they stopped with my measurements, but something I wanted to talk about that I didn't write down is hair loss. And future past Nikki, past Nikki, was like, I don't think I'll care about hair loss. I don't think it'll be a big deal to me. And it's, it's not. I'm, 
Emotionally, I don't mind that I'm losing hair. However, cleaning and convenience-wise, it is fucking frustrating as hell. There is hair everywhere. Like, okay, here's... Insert gross, 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 gross. Isis had a clinger the other day when she was going poop. It's because she had a long piece of hair stuck to, stuck in her poop. Likely my, this is not, this is, this is a wig, by the way. You guys know what my real hair looks like. Um, but I think it's time to chop it all off. I'm going to keep my side sweat bangs, but the back part of it, I'm just going to cut it all one length when I eventually have time to go get my hair cut. But it kind of sucks. I really love my current hairstyle. I love how long it is. And I will let it grow back out, but it's just gotten to the point. I don't have enough time to clean up chunks of hair and clean the drain out. Oh my god, the drain is a nightmare. Like today I was just, just handfuls, just handfuls of hair. Just, uh, it's just handfuls of hair everywhere. It was awful. Like. It doesn't bother me emotionally. I'm used to my hair falling out, it's always done that, but it's just so inconvenient and obnoxious. So that's why we're gonna we're gonna chop it all off. And besides, I've got wigs, so I got options. Um, but yeah, I think that's the last of what I had to report. Since I have reached my 200 pound goal, that means you guys get a Halloween haul. So I'll talk about all of the things I've bought this Halloween season. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you want to know everything I've bought this Halloween season, like um, the outdoor decorations, costume stuff, or if you just want to know what I've bought as like little treats for myself in the bedroom. Like I showed you my pumpkin, and I've gotten a few other things uh, for the bedroom and for the inside, uh, for the living room and stuff, which is also gradually becoming Halloween themed. Um, so let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see everything I've bought for the whole house, indoor, outdoor, costumes, or if you just want to see my little trinkets and stuff that I've bought. Um, and you also get a, um, bedroom tour. So you'll finally get to see in full what my Halloween bedroom looks like, not just my little nooks that you've occasionally seen. Um, I actually got to clean it for that, so it might be a little while, a little while. Um, and I need to redo one of my... Uh, display cases. I'm gonna replace my Monster High dolls with more pop figures. What a surprise. But, um, so you get Halloween haul, bedroom tour, and I will vlog of the Halloween party. Um, I'll probably put it all into one video, unless it turns out to be really long, then I'll do three really short videos. But yeah, now that I'm 200 pounds, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and my reward for reaching 200 pounds to myself is my Halloween party. So I cannot wait for that. It's going to be a blast. Um, like I said, I will vlog some of it so you guys can see. Those will probably be my next videos. I do not know that I'll have time to update between now and then, but if I do, cool. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Insert turnaround video here. Yes, that. Okay, so I'm going to do my turnaround video for you guys. Um, this is not the sports bra I normally wear. Um, I don't know where that one is, but this is what I have clean. Thankfully, I did find the same shorts I normally wear, I think. Anyway, I will move my hair. I don't have a clip. The one that's in my hair is currently broken. That's why I can't take it out until I'm done. Um, so I don't have a clip big enough, so I'll just move it out of the way. Anyway, I try to get a slightly wider angle so you can see a little more of me. Um, I don't really have a big enough room to get much more of me than this. So here is the curtain, the front, and the side. And then move my hair back. Hopefully I'm still in frame. I think so. And the other side. So things are going well. Hopefully you can see a difference. I think so. Um, so, while I have this full view thing, I want to show you. I was talking about these tights, how tall they are. So, you can't see my feet, but if I hold them, let's see. There. They are now touching the ground. Just barely touching the ground if I hold them up to my boobs. So, just to give you an idea of how long they are, just slowly raise them out of frame, like... Look at these things. Look. They are an arm length, pretty much. That's no tightness. They're just like hugely tall. I appreciate it though, I mean, because 
it worked out in my favor that they were extra long so that they would stretch extra wide to fit me. But like, wow, that is, that's long. Anyway, I just wanted to, just, just wanted to share that with you. And like I said, uh, back to past Nikki, who will now tell you goodbye. Wait, wait, I lied. Measurements. <laughs> I always forget the measurements. Okay. Now, 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 now we go back to past Nikki. Okay, now back to the outro. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to be here with me. It really means so much to me that you guys even care at all what this little Arizona girl has to say. Um, and I love watching you guys' videos and commenting. I feel like I'm really making a bunch of friends here. So I love you all, and I will see you in the next episode of Whatever I Make. Bye!